so huge. Yep. Let's see if I can catch a fish. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like a plate. Yep, turban area. Really big one. Hi, Ban Ban. Hi, his new coral line. What kind of thing? Oh, this is the Gai Dao Marco Rock. That Gai Dao Marco Rock is where we came from. Unique Coral. I don't know. I thought it was Hawaii. Hawaii? Unique Coral. It's Marco Rock. It's Marco Rock. Because it was not released. Now I know. I'm sure. It's opened. It should be released. Let's open it. Let's open it. Let's open it. 在我旁边这个是旧哦，那我们就稍微跟他了解一下，因为他刚刚有跟我们说他的这个位置已经有改过，我们来问一下他为什么。So we were there for a long time, maybe ten years. Um, it was getting a little bit old. It was an old building to begin with. We had an opportunity to take advantage of a real estate investment and, and buy our own forever home for unique corals. Yeah, for me it's the same because uh, I rent a place and yeah. run a business, but it's a rent place. Yeah. So yeah. you cannot do any change there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You could, I couldn't do solar panels there. So we will do solar here. Oh, we do solar yeah. panels. Run all your piping real nice here. Like all the piping is ran behind the, the racks over there. You know, all that stuff when you do it in a rental, you don't get that back. Yeah. And yeah. then if you have to move out, if the landlord wants you out, you have to take it all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like this, this was all built. We built this. You yes. built it by your own? Yes, myself. Really? Yes. I had a steel guy put the steel in and did the walls, hung the rafters, cut them all. So. Yeah. Uh, maybe not a house. But... <laughs> yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah, look, Americans do this, or you're interested in this. My father. Yeah, my father was a contractor as well, so I did bathroom renovations with him, and he had all the tools at home. Oh, wow. Actually, I have some of his tools over here. We'll go this way. A little tool bench. This was my father's drill press. Yeah. You know, from like the 19, probably the 1950s, <laughs> 60s. I have a lot of his old tools. It's like a men's cave. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> the scale of the farm yeah. is smaller than yes. before. Yes. The business model over there was more importing a lot of corals and then reselling them right away. It takes a lot of staff, a lot of work, a lot of dipping, and a lot of control that we don't have. Delayed flights, fish and wildlife inspector that's overly hard, that wants to take the whole shipment. You know, shipments that come in lost or dead. It just was a very stressful way of making a living. And truthfully, we weren't really making a lot. Yeah. So we decided to do what a lot of the other uh, pe people are doing, and it's actually concentrate on growing corals and then selling the frags. That oh. seemed to be where the industry was going. We didn't need that much facility to really do that right. This is a nursery. So we only bring in a few shipments a year now, and we have more time here and less time at the airport. It's just a better business model. So this is where we keep most of our stock, and then we have some farm tanks over there that have mainly our aquapora. And then this is kind of our mixed system where we sell and we shoot our WYSIWYGs out of. We used to always run radion lights, and then when we hooked up with Delua and Illa Magic, we saw how good the lights are. Uh, these have been a little over a year now on this system. We've had them running for over two years at the other facility. I see you uh, covered with uh, a lot of X4s. Yes, and then we're still using the old lights, the Radeon G4s here, and then there's some G5s on, on this system here. Yeah. So how do you feel about uh, compared with G G4, G5 and the X4s? I think they're both great lights. Uh, the G4 was probably the crowd favorite but they seem to lack a little bit of, um, of the pop and, and the coral growing abilities that the four have. As far as for what our needs are, both lights do the job. What we really like this is the app. Uh, we do have problems with Mobius quite, quite often and yeah. a lot of unknown things where I'll watch the cameras at night and some of the lights stay on yeah, yeah. when they're not supposed to. These lights, we never have that problem. Stable with the app. Very stable with the app. And the app is very easy. The only downside is you have to put a little bit more of them compared to say a Radeon that's like 200 watts, yeah. you can get away with less of them. And it's very interesting, when we first switched from Radeons to these, our corals reacted negatively. Yeah. They actually got a little brown. Yeah, yeah. And then we waited and then they came roaring back with even better color. I think they're just adapting to the different spectrum and just going into a state of shock. In my uh, experience, maybe it's about the, the part. For the X-Force, it has lower pars. Yeah. And uh, for G6, G5, and it has a higher, higher par. Yeah, maybe it's switch, when switch, the parts get lower yeah. and the corals have to need to adapt. To yeah. yeah, well that's certainly a part of it. But typically, you know, the corals don't come roaring back if the par isn't enough to make them brown. Usually they'll kind of stay brown because they're not getting enough light. Yeah. But these, they just came roaring back. Yeah, we just have a lot of our big colonies. Everything is kind of white light right now, but 
you could see everything even growing out of the water. How do you pick your corals? Like to bring here? Yeah. Just like a hobbyist. We yeah, look yeah. online, yeah. see what's for sale. Yeah. Pass, pass, pass. Ooh, we'll take that one. Pass, pass. Yeah. We'll take that one. So maybe uh, in this business uh, model, maybe you have more fun. Yes, than before. for sure. Yes. Because you're like harvest. Plus, when we used to have a lot of store owners that would come in, they'd want to buy everything. Everything that's nice, they want to buy. When you say it's not for sale, they wouldn't be happy. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of a stress level with that. There are so many cars you have, you can yep. collect, but the, the space is like only yeah. this big. No, but the space has been perfect. It's an insulated space. This is three inch foam. Oh, three inch foam? Yep. So there's no heaters or chillers on any of the systems. Yeah. We use a dehumidifier up in that corner, and then we have two air conditioners, very efficient. And then we have the ICP lab upstairs. Yeah. Last time we were in your old facility, and you told us that you, you were buying. An, an ICP machine. Or something. Oh, that was 2017. Yeah, yeah, five years okay. ago. Okay, so now we have our second machine. Second machine? Second machine. We just set it up about uh, three weeks ago. Oh, I have not seen ICP the the ICP test is uh, you do it for yourself or you have customers send water for your customers. You can see all these these samples are being tested right now. You just put the tubes inside and it will detect everyone. It does a it does a it rinse automatically. and then it calibrates and then it grabs a sample and does it automatically. Yep. Sending the liquid through and then the argon gas is going inside there as well. And that's the, the glow of the argon gas. That's the actually a plasma. So because it's so hot in there, like yeah. 10,000 degrees, the water gets evaporated very, very quickly. Yeah. And all the minerals that are inside are detected. Yeah. And each mineral gives off a wavelength as it jumps from a high energy state to a cool energy state. Yeah. It drops in temperature and it shines. It gives off a light. And this is a big detector. And it picks up the intensity and the color. The color is indicative of the element and the intensity is indicative of the concentration yeah. of that element. And so it tells us like on this chart, you have silicone, you know, phosphorus or sulfur or chloride. And then you can compare that to natural seawater and say, okay, my boron level is low or my magnesium level is low. Let me add a little bit more to bring it up to natural seawater. Why is your machine? So this is the Spectra Blue. This is a Spectra Green. This is the older machine. Still works fine. This runs a little bit quicker. It's a little bit more efficient, cooler. It uses less space. So know. this is like iPhone 15 and iPhone I, 13. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. So this right here is where we're, we're actually making Core 7 for Triton. Yep. The Triton Core 7, these are the three different parts right here. So we use our, our water making machine to fill it up with RO water. We have Hydro Wizard pumps that mix it. And then we add the right ingredients uh, to make Core 7. And this is the RO unit here. So we have a very big RO. From here, we can send water all over the facility. Yeah. We could send it up to the mezzanine and then it gravity feeds, tops off every tank. Yeah. There's a LLC and a float on every sump. And then there's another line that goes to the front. So when we have deliveries out the front door, we can sell water. Yeah. And then this line goes to all the sumps in there. And then this we can fill up at our salt, mix it in here, yep. and then send it into here. This is the cold water, it goes down here. This is called a water cop, and this has sensors on the floor. So if the sensors get wet, it shuts off the cold water. Oh. So if there's any leak, it shuts it off at the source. So if yeah, any yeah. of these things pop, and then it goes through the carbon, the RO, then it goes into two mixed bed deionization tanks. Yep. Then it goes into a virgin media, which has never been used for any industry. This is used for the silicon chips industry. Yeah, you know, yeah, they yeah. use it once and then they sell them the, the resin. Yeah. And then we test it right here with a resistivity meter. If you're familiar with total dissolved solids, yeah. usually you want it at zero. Yeah. But below that is what this starts to measure. So, so the resistance of electrical current going through the water and really, really good pure water is like 17 mega ohms. Whoa. Yeah. And that's how we know we're producing high, high quality water to make our salt water for our tanks and to make the core 7. So it's what TDS Ling Yi Wai, you think that I would like to be the Just talk about the sensor to I thought uh, TDS is a zero, 
maybe is the best. You can't get electrocuted if there's no minerals in the water because yeah, yeah, the electricity yeah. can't travel through it. Yeah. So we're, we're seeing how little minerals there are. That resistance to tra send an electrical current through is what this is measuring right here. So we're literally taking every mineral out of the water. Okay, all of a sudden here is boring. This is my office and we do some photography in here. Quieter room, but we have the airport nearby, so it's still pretty loud. But this is uh, like soundproof walls and door. So I want to be able to do filming, you know, YouTube content in there as soon as I can get time You won't to do tell it. me this is built by yourself too. No. No, no, none of this was built. Actually, the kitchen I built. That's my, yeah, this is where we all work. Yep. This was a leftover, this was a leftover piece of quartz that I had from our house. This is a butcher block from Home Depot and just cut it out and put the sink in and I installed the plumbing. Wow. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we all have a lunch in here. In our store, our uh, staff area is eating, it's like this. So small, only a table. Like, oh, really? Yeah. 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 I don't want my staff to look at this. This边应该是它的那个修入，然后它这边就放了一摩奇的pixel，一二三四五六二四六六个pixel跟一个五灯之。维他命E的五灯，那这一缸呢，主要是它的展示缸，水位放的蛮低的，那主要是养一些这种软